tucked away at 10.23 on the 7th of June. Didn't get her blood transfusion in time. Everybody wants money. Red star. Reds star. C is for carbon. Red stars make carbon. Cincinnati C star. Our poor C. She was stolen in Kentucky. Got her back. So here we are. See, here's our alien. See the nitrogen alien? That's what we got going down here. So lysine, as you'll see what we mean. We're going to have to draw this out right when we get it. How do you like that? What a hokey operation, huh? Oh, this is one we can't draw on the other side. Anyway, we finished lysine here. What we needed was the nitrogen with the lone pair of electrons is able to hold on to an, a hydrogen proton out there, essentially, they call it. So, lysine, those of you that missed it, we got crap on the back, so we can't do that. We take our template here. Give us our triangle. That's our spot for the thing. So, what do we do? We've got triangle nitrogen. We've got our diamond carbon. This is the amino acid backbone. Do that. So what do we do? We put our middle carbon here. This carbon's arm goes to the foot. That arm goes up there. This is usually always going to go to a carbon, so we can draw a diamond in there. We saw one of those. I guess the histidine here. We missed our CO. So here's our carbonyl. Here's our carbonyl, and that's it. Dots, dot happy people, there's a dot, here's a hydrogen dot. So this is another one, arginine has kind of the same setup, but there's a bunch of nitrogens. This is a cool one. So we're going to write this here, arginine, probably should have wrote it in blue, A-R-G. So lots of nitrogen in arginine. I'm going to move lysine out of the way here for a minute. So what do we got? We got carbons coming down. So there's one, two, three carbons. So what do we do? We just draw three diamonds. C, C, C. And now it's going to get tricky because, boy, there's going to be three nitrogens. This is purple. Give us purple here. So we're going to draw one triangle here. And that triangle goes to a diamond. And that diamond has a double bonded end to it. So let's just draw like this one here, in and to the triangle. Over here is another triangle. So see how simple that is? That is the structure. So now what we need to do in chemistry is account for the electrons. And that's where the number of bonds comes in. I know I've been telling you this over and over. It's the only way if you start hearing it, it'll echo. And then you'll realize eight electrons, eight valence outermost electrons is what's going to make an atom stable. So carbon with four electrons needs four. That's why it bonds, because every, every bond is a pair of electrons here. So as we're coming down, these are totally saturated carbons here, so they just get the dots. Dot, 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 dot. Kind of make this like a Morse code in a way, huh? I guess that goes all the way too. So now when we look, we had the double bond to the nitrogen. That's the only double bond in that. And what that nitrogen with the double bond ends up getting is two H's. So we're going to draw like one H there and one H there. It's the same situation. I guess we can draw a little alien in there. If we draw the alien's head, it's the alien that's holding that proton in there. 
is a proton with an electron is hydrogen. It gets really confusing, but if you learn the technology, it'll make it more frustrating because you'll be correcting everybody. So again, this is arginine. We need to account for these bonds, so we just look at the diamonds. We, here's a nitrogen, one, two, this carbon here, one, two, three, four, so there's nothing else for any of those to bond to. There's a double bond of one of those nitrogens, that gives it a plus. So, two hydrogens, one hydrogen, that accounts for everything in the arginine. Isn't that simple? It doesn't get any simpler. This is the best technique that I've seen, and I've been going to chemical conferences for 15 years, I've been studying chemistry for 25 years. This is the cat's meow. This is the dog's howl. Okay, so arginine. Look how simple that is. Oh, I want a grade schooler to learn this. Okay, let's see. Any more complicated ones here? Let's go up my template. Do our nitrogen triangle. Mark our carbon diamond. Starting to get it here. I kept calling my triangles diamonds and diamonds triangles when I started. So, another diamond in the middle. See how this is? Isn't that just elegant? Put one arm to the bottom. Oxygen. Oh. That's the backbone. And there's the dot levers. Dot. Dot. N C O. This is the amino acid backbone. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Side chain hangs off. Let's see, which ones do we have to do here? We did those, did those, did those, we did those, did those. Okay, this one is really weird. The way that the nitrogen goes back on itself here is what makes proline one of the weird ones, okay? Proline, the pro. Now see, for some beginners, they would see that pro and they're thinking proton? No. The way this curves in on itself, the nitrogen becomes part of, the backbone becomes part of the side chain. So they draw this one in there, it's really confusing. All I can say is, do the diamonds, okay? This is going to cause a home base type of five-membered ring. So it's going to look like home base here. Just draw. You know there's got to at least be one bond on all these, right? And see, that's where that fits in. Lone pair of electrons up here for the alien. That's where that gets a whole proton with a plus charge up there. It's one of those rare instances where nitrogen is in an aqueous environment, the blood, which has water in it, so it needs to get situated. Now, how are we going to account for these bonds going into the backbone? Well, what happens is we can look and we see the number of hydrogens. It's a saturated molecule. So there's dot, 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 dot. It's as simple as it is, folks, and we're done. So what makes this molecule so cool is this part up here, the plus, plus on that nitrogen. And see how it's part of the ring, too? So proline is a little tough one, but it was pretty simple, wasn't it? Just drawing with our triangles. I mean, I got to admit, I thought it'd be harder than that. So we C C C, and that is proline. Okay, so I'm going to take a little break and go through because I think we missed one of these AAs, but we'll see what we got here.